You're watching Hexus TV, and we're here at CES 2011 with Patriot. Now, this is Johnny, who's going to talk to us about the brand new Javelin media server. Now, I'm going to be honest, this looks an awful lot like a NAS to me. So, why is it called a media server? What's different about this? Okay, well, I'm not going to lie to you. It is a, it is a NAS, but we're, we're going to be telling everyone and how we're going to be marketing it, it's a media server. And one of the reasons why we're doing it as a media server is because we're, we're, we're going to try to step away from from calling it a NAS and, and getting, uh, you know, getting the average Joe to want to pick up one of these units and be able to utilize the NAS in a more user-friendly fashion. So, for example, you have, you have the typical features of uh, you know, streaming videos to any UPnP-enabled devices. You also have, it's, it's, uh, it's DL, DLNA certified, Windows 7 compatible, or certified, I'm sorry, it's Windows 7 certified also. And, uh, so and this works with um, works with Macs as well, obviously. Yeah. Right. And so one of the fe one of the features that uh, that we're turning on for the Javelin is the is the uh, Apple Time Machine and also the the I as a Apple iTunes server. Okay, brilliant. And obviously this is a four bay device. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you're targeting it as a media server and saying kind of turning it down a bit, getting rid of the complexity. Mm -hmm. How are you going to expect users to deal with these four drives, setting up RAID arrays, all this kind of stuff? Okay, so one of the one of the things that scares people away is if if I say, hey, let's set up a, a four bay, uh, you know, a four four drive RAID array. We'll do RAID zero, one, five, ten, or you know, or JBot even, right? And so what we're going to be doing is is in the software that that we're including with the Javelin, it's going to be as easy as um, asking the user, uh, would you like to have it for security? Would you like to have it for for performance? Click a simple button, and the Javelin goes and, and does its work behind behind the doors or uh, behind the scenes. And it's going to be just as simple for setting up user accounts and yep. for permissions, this kind of stuff. The key in, in making this Javelin into uh, what we want to call it a, a media server is in the UI, right? Making it as, as friendly as possible and as, and as easy as possible to set up. All right. Now, the other thing that you, we talked about earlier um, was streaming kind of over a network, being able to access this this remotely. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, along with uh, being able to stream uh, to any UPnP devices, uh, Within your network, you can actually access the access the device outside of your network. So, say if you're at your mom's house or at you know a friend's house, say hey, I have some videos on my on my javelin that I like to I like to to show up. You can actually sign in, you know, using dynamic DNS or or however you typically connect back to your home network. Open up the browser and um, and just and, and browse through the material and actually play within your browser. So remotely. you can stream over kind of over Flash or something. Yeah. Through, through the browser. Yes, that's correct. And also, and also, what we're doing is, uh, is within your network, if you have a, a an iPhone or uh, or an Android device, you can actually stream to that also. So there there is an app that you can download from the iTunes Store that's going to be uh, available to our, to uh, you know for free, and and um, uh, you can you can watch movies on your iPhone anywhere in your house. So how much is this going to cost, um, and when will we will be able to buy it? Uh, we're expected to set the price at three ninety nine. And we're looking to be able to make a make a purchase of one of these uh, sometime in late February. And that's three ninety nine US dollars. Is that with any drives inside? No drives. Just uh, just just the just the unit itself. Okay. So there you have it. The new Patriot Javelin media server. You're watching Hexus TV. Tune in soon for more.